the fourth movement of a symphony, the grand finale in a fireworks show, the triple axle at the end of an ice skating routine. Have you ever noticed how we like to save the best for last? I've been privileged to serve as president of Westchester University for the past seven years. 2015 was my last full year as president. I have made the decision to retire from WCU and will be doing so on March 31st, 2016. I'm very proud of the talented faculty, staff, and students who have accomplished so much at this university during my tenure. When I became WCU's 14th president, I found excellence across campus but even more importantly, I found a hunger and drive for more. I found people who weren't afraid to ask what was lacking, who weren't afraid to ask how things could be done even better. And they went out and they did them. From the introduction of doctoral programs to research breakthroughs, from equity and access initiative to the explosion of distance education, from regional business collaborations to international academic partnerships. This university has achieved remarkable things during the last seven years. But if I had to name a single year that surpassed all of the others, it would have to be this past year, 2015. It was a time of great energy, creativity, and accomplishment at Westchester University. Take, for example, the fact that we now heat and cool 50% of our buildings with geothermal energy and 50% by high-efficiency natural gas boilers. In 2015, WCU introduced a Doctor of Public Administration and an EDD in Education Policy, Planning, and Administration, joining our first doctoral program, the Doctorate of Nursing Practice which was launched in 2013. We also began a master's in applied and computational math and a master's in clinical health counseling. These programs meet critical educational needs for local employers. This past year, WCU faculty received 2.3 million in new funding to support scholarly activities for themselves and their students compare it to 1.8 million in 2014. We will continue to grow sponsored research to support the innovative teaching, research, and service conducted by our faculty and our staff. In the 2014-15 academic year, the university signed five new international agreements, including partnerships in China, France, and the Cayman Islands. Last fall, I was part of leading a delegation of university presidents in Cuba. As a result of an agreement from that visit, students and faculty will travel to Cuba for the first time. In November, the Golden Rams marching band put on a truly incomparable show at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade to an audience of 3.5 million spectators in New York City and 50 million TV viewers worldwide. Here in Westchester, our performing and visual arts programs draw more than 105,000 visitors to campus each year. I haven't even begun to mention all of the gains we saw in 2015. In our winning athletic teams, in a record-setting number of public service hours by our students, in new partnerships such as our Center for Community Solutions, in the phenomenal growth in WCU programs in Center City, Philadelphia, and much more. In the videos and pages that follow, you'll have a chance to discover why Westchester University is among the very best comprehensive regional universities in the nation. It feels good to look back at my last full year as president of WCU and see all that has been accomplished. It feels even better to actually to look ahead and to know that this university is positioned very well for a very bright future. I'm confident in the leadership team headed by Interim President Chris Farentino that will guide this university 
during the coming year. I'm confident that I'll return to WCU to see even greater accomplishments in the future. This is Westchester University, where all things are possible.